DIY in your kitchen because who doesn't? I'll actually take it outside, I promise. This is my bedside light. She no longer works. And at the moment, you're either going to blame two things for anything not working. That's coronavirus or ESCOM. I'm not sure if the reason the little knobby and clickety-click thing button in there works is because of ESCOM, but I'm going to blame ESCOM anyway. The problem is that this thing does not come apart and so seems kind of useless. So I decided to... Um, make new ones well I'm not gonna make a light that looks like that obviously I'm not Jesus um, but I'm gonna DIY um, a new bedside light a sort of a pendanty light thing that hangs from the wall sounds technical it's because I haven't really thought it through but anyway this is what I am going to be using so I've decided to go with these really cool globes they are LED they've got um, they're really bright as well um, so they're gonna be low on energy but um, good on lumens I've bought some two core cables I got about five meters of that which I think might be too much but I'm sure it will be fine I've had to buy this thingamajigs I think they're called uh, dowels um, because I want it I don't want to have any visible screws so this will be the first time I'm using this kind of thing um, so I'm pretty excited to learn that new skill I um, have no idea what to do with those, but I'll YouTube it and figure it out. And then I've got um, some keyhole plates for the back. These will be to attach to the wall. And because I want it to look like a floating shelf and I don't want any visible screws, I've got a couple of new um, switches because that's the reason. That one's getting ditched because the switch don't work. Um, what else have I got? I'm going to use no more nails. Um, wood glue is fine if that's what you're going to use. Um, and then I've got a piece of pine. I was going to use some off cuts, but I don't like the look of the wood. So um, this piece of pine that I have used is only 30 bucks for this long piece. And I'm probably, yeah, I'll have more than enough. And then I've got these really cool copper connections for the, um, the bayonet uh, light fitting. But I'll kind of make it up as I go along. It's probably going to work out to about 240 Rand a light, which I think is pretty good value for money, considering it's going to be uh, bespoke and to design that I want. What am I going to use? I recently bought myself a circular saw for my birthday, as one does, um, and the cordless screwdriver, which is really handy. It's also a drill. So, um, yeah, it shouldn't take too long, um, but let's see how we go. Hey. 